Hello and welcome to Andy's Game Vault. Today we're playing Siege, a 1992 real-time strategy game set in medieval fantasy world, focusing on siege battles. In years past, the humans and elves of the fields and forest of Miser were prosperous and happy. Great banquets were held nightly in the halls of Alyssa Palace. But word came to Castle Alyssa of raids by orcs and goblins. Farmers were slaughtered. Villages were plundered. Outposts were destroyed. Dwarves marched from the mines of Dorak to drive the force of darkness back through Darkwind Pass across the mountains of the Demon Spine. To no avail, the sieges began. High Rock Fortress and Fort Near fell. The armies of darkness came at last to the walls of the doomed castle of Alyssa. All right, let's get started. So there's basically no campaign map in this game. There's only scenarios. There are four different maps that make up all the scenarios in this game. High Rock Fortress, Castle Alyssa, Fort Near, and Uscum Gart. We're going to go ahead and do the tutorial, which is in Fort Near. And we're going to be the attacker. The difficulty in this game is set by limiting how many units you're allowed to have on the field. So we're going to go ahead and just set it to average. And here we go. We are the attackers in this scenario, and our goal is to take back the castle. You do that by putting your flag into the castle square. Let's go ahead and look at our camp down here. So this is where all of our troops will come from. And um, I'm going to go over into the barracks screen and take a look at our troops. So we have 30 engineers. Uh, the engineers don't do much attack. They don't really have any weapons, just a uh, dagger. And um, you don't want to do hand-to-hand -hand combat with them. The engineers will operate uh, the siege equipment, like catapults, ladders, and bridges. Bridges are used to cross water. Ladders can scale walls, and you can fire rocks at enemies with the catapults. They also are the ones that carry your flags. So when you capture the enemy square, you want to send an engineer out to plant the flag. And that's basically how you win as an attacker. And as a defender, you want to make sure you defend your flag. If the flag gets captured, then you can put your flag back into the base. So we're going to go ahead and start by uh, deploying. Let's go ahead and just get an engineer out there with the catapult. And we're going to just attack the whole castle. And we're going to set him down here. Actually, uh, I'm going to make sure... I don't want to do any friendly fires, so we're going to not attack there. And I think that might be a little bit too far, so we'll, we'll set him down here. And then I want to make sure and send a small force. Let's go ahead and do five sergeants. And our sergeants are... Basically, the human soldier, these are our human sergeants, and they have slightly bonus to damage and armor. And if you look at our regular human warrior, they have zero damage, zero armor, 32% tack, and 10% defense. They're not the greatest of troops, but they're your standard attack unit. So we're going to get them deployed, and they're going to go in and... If the enemy decides to sally forth and attack us, we're going to go ahead and put him right here. And then we'll get some archers to provide backup. And we're going to send them over here. That might be too far. So we'll get them over here. We can adjust this later. And we're going to get another group of 10 archers. And we're going to focus on the main gate. Our attack is not going to be on the main gate. We're going to cross the water and raise ladders. But I want to soften the defenses first with my range attack. 
And let's get another force here of uh, 20 guys. And we'll have 20 guys left in reserves. And we'll just send them to the front gate as well. All right, so there's, as you can see, there's three different zoom levels. This is the zoomed in detail unit level. This is the zoomed out entire map. And then this is kind of the in-between levels. In the, let's go ahead and zoom in and watch our guys deploy. Be before we do that, I'm going to set the speed to slow because things move pretty fast. So actually, we're going to zoom out and see what the defense does see what kind of defense they're gonna put up so here you can see the defenders are always blue and I'm gonna pause it and take a look at these guys what kind of troops they are so we have the orc warrior they're gonna be pretty much equivalent to the human warrior and then they have an orc sergeant and over here these guys are spear throwers uh, I think they have more damage than our archers but they don't have as good of range alright so they're deploying their defense Let's unpause it. Let's watch them go. They're probably going to send some guys to attack us. Here they come. So they can cross through these gates. We cannot. We would need a battering ram, which we don't have in this scenario. Okay, we're already firing missiles at him with our archers. Where's our other range unit? They're over here. I don't know why they're so far away, but let's go ahead and... I'm going to zoom out first, and I'm going to attack over here, and we want to set them over here. All right, let's zoom in a little bit and see what these guys do. Okay, we're in the fight. Okay, looks like they're breaking through. Uh, I want to make sure and protect my archers. So I don't want them to get through. Maybe I can send my guys out this way. And protect the archers and these guys gonna fight this group over here and I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and I'm gonna set them to attack and then we'll just kind of move them back if they do make it through we might have to send them back all right it's kind of making me nervous they're really close to my archers yeah, we're going to have them retreat back to the barracks and these guys as well. They are just set on taking out my archers and I do not want that to happen. Archers are very good in this game. They don't do a lot of attack damage, uh, but they um, can attack any unit. So like a lot of times in battle, it's just, um, you, just your frontline units attack. Uh, but the archers can attack the, all the, the units in the back, so and we don't have very many archers in this scenario, so we want to make sure and protect them if we can, so we've got to get them back. So they're going to run away. We Looks like we already lost one, maybe. Man, they are just coming right at us. This is a very aggressive attack. Let's see if I've got any more guys. I'll send out the rest of this group. No sergeants here. But uh, we'll send them out after this group here. Let's see if we can get to them. Oh, they're coming after our engineers. We definitely don't want to lose these guys. So we'll have them retreat as well. And since I kind of know that this group is attacking my engineers, let's go ahead and set up my archers here. And we're going to get these. This is a group of just orc sergeants so these are their really elite guys and they are coming after our engineers Let's get our engineers to retreat okay they're kind of retreating uh oh we don't want them to we want to get these guys back don't fight those orc sergeants okay good uh, okay so now that they're retreating we're gonna go ahead and just attack from here and this is my other archers, yep. And we're gonna attack from here. I'm gonna send, this is a group of swordsmen. And we'll just have them attack. Okay, let's see how that goes. All right, let's make sure my archers are firing. This group of archers is firing. This group is still getting into position. All right, get into position, good. All right, so 
Why are these guys not attacking? I said to attack. Let's go. Get him. Here we go. Now we got these guys surrounded on all sides. We're hitting their elite uh, sergeants. I'm going to go ahead and press the H key, which will show you the health bars of everybody. Uh, the first bar over here on the left is the health. The second bar is your fatigue. So these guys uh, used up most of their fatigue, but they still have a lot of health. Some of these guys are about to die. Uh, looks like one of my units is about to die, too. But these are their elite sergeants versus our regular infantry. And we should be able to get them because we have the archer support. Alright, at the end of every day at 7 p.m., night falls, and you kind of get a report of the battle statistics. So we lost one guy, and we killed 13 enemy per one friendly. So we killed a total of 13 guys because we lost one. So, pretty good day for us, even though that they're sending out their elite orc sergeants. And we'll continue to fight. We'll take them out, and then uh, once this battle commences, I don't know if they're going to reinforce them. We'll get... Um, I'm going to send out my engineers with the uh, catapults again. I'm not going to attack these guys. I'm just going to attack people inside the castle. Like that. We'll see if they send out another guy, another unit to attack them. But we'll just continue this fight, and hopefully we'll win it soon. They are running down... Their health bars are running down, getting lower. And our guys are slowly attacking. Over here is kind of much thicker into the battle. We got our, our human sergeants up front. All right, let's get these guys to move out. Let's... They don't do a good job in this game of surrounding the enemy. They kind of just... Uh, let's take a look at this unit. They've got a lot of wounded guys. Let's send them back to the barracks to heal up. And you know what? Um... We've got to keep fighting these guys, though. I don't want them to turn around and attack my archers so we want to finish this group off and then we'll send our guys back okay looks like they are sending their guys back I don't see anybody else so we are gonna report back to barracks report back to barracks and we'll get our archers back as well Actually, our archers are full health. Let's check these guys. They're full health, so we'll keep them out there. But I don't want them to be vulnerable. So we'll keep them, keep our distance. For now. See if anybody come up, come, some, anybody else comes out. It looks like they're forming up a, these guys are just the spear hur hurlers. All right, it looks like they have uh, kind of died down. Let's send our archers back, let them rest up a little bit. It's about to be nightfall. We'll send them out the next day. Our engineers are fine. As long as they don't send anybody to attack them, they'll be good. Okay, we lost another human warrior and killed 26 to one uh, today. So really good, and seven guys recovered out of the hospital. So, take a look at our barracks. We have more guys. So, we will go ahead and start our assault. I am going to do just one sergeant. We'll do like 10 guys to deploy. And I'm going to have them just defend this general area. And then I'm going to get like 15 engineers with bridges and they're gonna go ahead and set up bridges here you can kinda see they put these torch fires here as part of this tutorial to tell you this is where you need to set your bridges but you could really bridge anywhere in fact I think I actually like this area much better 
because this is a bigger section of walls that we can build the ladders on. You see these uh, darker sections of the wall? This is where the ladders go. The ladder sections, they cannot, cannot put ladders there. So we've got five ladders here. So this is going to be a better location, I think, for engineers to set our walls. And I want to make sure these guys are defending. And we'll just put them right here. I'm going to get another group out to defend. Let's just get... I don't want to waste all my sergeants, so we'll just get one sergeant and ten guys deployed, and we're going to defend this area here. So if anybody comes out of the gate, and then we'll get our seven remaining archers to provide cover fire. All right, let's go ahead. Let's see what happens. See what they do. Engineers are still firing their catapults. So the catapults, if you if we can watch one fly, they actually can bounce on the ground, and so they can take out multiple people than just one, more than just one enemy. All right, here comes our engineer setting the bridges to cross the water. And there's our catapult. They can actually damage castle walls as well, but this one just landed on the ground. Here comes another one. They're not very accurate. The ballistas are much more accurate. Okay, we've got our guys. Um, we got our bridges set. Let's go ahead and bring up our archers here and fire from across here. And then I'm going to get 10 engineers with ladders. 10 ladders. Actually, we just need five, don't we? And so I'm going to just do five engineers with five ladders. And we're going to go ahead and set our ladders here. And I want to defend these guys as they're doing it. So we'll just get them here. And we'll keep this group here just in case they try to do something. And I don't know if I have these guys attacking not or not. I'll just tell them to go. All right, here we go. All right, our archers are firing. That's good. And we should be getting our backup. Here comes our ladders. Can we get any more soldiers? Yeah, let's get another group of 10. Get them deployed. And just have them defend here. And then we'll send them in once the ladders get in place. Here comes the ladders. And they will go ahead and set those up. Let's go. And they should automatically turn to base. They did. All right, we're going to get our guys in here. This group on the right is going to attack this group here. All right, this group on the left, they're going to go in here and attack. And I'm going to get our remaining troops to just kind of go up here. Let's unpause it. All right, here they go. Let's take their stats. All right. They're getting fatigued. They're get taking damage from my archers. Do I have any more archers? I do. I have nine more archers. I can get them out there. Pretty much have all my units deployed at this point. I'm going to zoom out so they can kind of tack at a wider range. Let's go ahead and put them right here. All right. Unpause it. Okay, another day fall. We did lose four ladders. Uh, no deaths and seven people released from the hospital. We used our ladders. We didn't really, they didn't get destroyed. The enemies can destroy ladders. Um, and there, look there, we did do some damage to their castle right there. So, with that damage, we could actually put a ladder there once it gets damaged like that. Alright, looks like we've got all our archers. These guys are not firing. There's nobody within range. So, I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to just have them attack from over here. And we're going to go ahead and get these guys in too. 
and I'm gonna just, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, and they're just gonna attack over here. I'm gonna send this group over here to do some sort of flanking maneuver. Actually, let's go over here first and try to hit this group in behind. That way we can surround them. All right, good. And I'm gonna get these our archers up here in the castle. Actually, let's zoom out. Let's get them to attack basically anybody, and then we're gonna get them on the ramparts. And these guys are just gonna attack uh, from right where they are and help out with this group here. Do we have anybody in the barracks? We have six soldiers, no sergeants to send with them, but we're gonna go ahead and send them out here to just attack. Just get them in the battle. Alright, let's take a look at our guys. They're getting fatigued, but they still have good health. These guys aren't really doing anything, so let's get them involved. Let's get them after these guys. And I'm going to go ahead and send out a couple engineers with a flag and just tell them to place the flag. You've got to wait like a day and a half. So basically, whatever time it is of the day, you have to wait the, the day you set the flag and then the next day. So once the sun sets on the day following when you place the flag, that's when you win as an attacker. And of course, as the defender, you have until that time to uh, take down the flag. Okay, here they come. And we did it. We got the flag placed. Let's go ahead and send a group here to defend it because they will try to take it back. The AI doesn't do a great job of taking flags back, um, but they they do they do try sometimes. Sometimes they just kind of ignore it. But let's see what they do. They might start raising guys up here. So they, here's a big army of spear hurlers. And they've got some orcs. They're going to come and try to take that square back. Uh, I'm going to make sure we've got archer support. We'll send them over here, maybe. And what do we got? Those are our engineers. These guys are doing nothing. Get them here to defend this flag as well. Hopefully, we can hold it for a whole nother day. I like taking the flag near the end of the day because that's less time that you have to hold it. So we lost one archer, and we killed 15 enemies. They're probably running low on troops. They do have a lot of these spear hurlers, and they, they seem to have quite a few orcs left. Let's see if we have anybody released from hospital. So we've got these guys. Uh, let's go ahead and deploy them. Get Just get them, get everybody to defend this area if we can. All right, let's see, where do we want these archers? Let's go ahead and have them attack from over here. And what are these guys? These guys are probably, they're coming in to help out defend this flag. So we've got basically 12 hours to defend this flag. And we're getting their spears. We're getting hit by spears like crazy. Let's go ahead and instead of just standing there, we'll go ahead and attack. Take out some of these guys. And hopefully we can hold. So they got to take out our defenders, and then they've got to uh, raise their own flag back. Otherwise, we will win, even if all of our defenders get killed. Okay, we are firing arrows. Let's see, do we have anything? I mean, I could throw in some engineers here just as bodies to defend this. I might as well get some engineers in there. You don't want to lose your engineer because if they take our flag... Uh, we need someone to try to put it back again, but um, I'm not going to use all of them. I'll just use some. And here comes another group. Let's take out this these spear hurlers right here. And these guys look like they're retreating. Sometimes when they retreat, you can tell them to get back in in line. Other times, they'll just ignore it and return to barracks. Yeah, these guys are... They're rallying, so that's good. We're completely surrounded. Oh, I told those archers to go, 
the other side. So they're going in. They're just like doing some combat. Oh, looks like they took out those spear hurlers. Okay, you guys start firing. Good. We're getting a crossfire going. And here's our defenseless engineers over here to, trying to defend the flags as well. But I think they can handle... I mean, the spear hurlers in hand-to-hand -hand combat aren't that great either, so... Here we go, just a few hours left. I don't see any attempts to take the flag back. So, we just gotta hold on for like three more hours. And then this siege will be won. Let's take a look at their health. Uh, yeah, our guys are standing in there. They're holding up. These guys are about to die. Yep, yep, he's just died. Yep. But, yeah, one more hour to go. Just hold on, guys. Hold your ground. 9th Falls. So today we lost 30 people and two sergeants. And it was an even one-to-one -one today. Uh, we got six guys out of the hospital, but... The battle is over. Fort Nier has fallen. Your armies cheer as the enemy flees into the forest. And the battle is complete. So we, we can kind of take a look at some of the reports here. They don't really give you much information. I'd like to see more reports like how many units were killed and how many um, are left. And it would be nice to, once the battle's over to see how many enemies. We can look at a hospital. Uh, we have one sergeant and four warriors and then your groups kind of tell you who do you have actively deployed into the field so we have our catapult and it tells you what what their orders are you have this guy he's basically retreating these guys are just firing missiles and they're defending the parade grounds but the battle's over the enemy's demoralized so they're gonna flee and basically the scenario is over Since there's no campaign in this game, I'm just going to do one scenario per video. And if a lot of people like this video, I'll do a few more scenarios. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye!